Welcome, this is Crime Queen, and if you're joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we are having lots of fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. Okay, we are continuing to explore number six. If you are new to this channel, this is the template we are working with. We are discovering or exploring the number six. So far, we have discovered that the second word of the Bible also um, constitute the number six, which is the, in the beginning. We have been doing everything in reference to the King James Bible in particular, um, to the word sacrifice as well. Of course, we are using our life experiences and, and things that happen around us, like we have been using Fox TV, because, of course, the template covers Fox um, News. We have been covering news. We understand our North, South, East and West is the news that we need to be occupied with. Of course, it's individual's choice of what news that they engage in. But according to this template and what we are endeavoring to do, discovering who we are, um, becoming better beings and expressions and versions of who we truly are, we feel that it is very important or essential that we explore our makeup in terms of who we are and how we function in the world, in particular to the story that we have been taught about Adam and Eve. Of course, we, are look, we have looked at Eve because Eve has seemed as the bad one of the two that was you know, um, Eve had broken the, the commandment or not to eat of the fruit. And there has been lots of things that has been explored through this channel about that story, which has shown a different light. We are looking at a different light. We are seeing a different light with purpose because we are wanting to become better expressions and versions of who we truly are. We are seeing that the word sacrifice had derived from the crucifixion of Christ or the story we learn that Christ came to die for us because God so loved the world and because we had been so bad, he had to send his only begotten son to save us. Ever since then, of course, with the essence of that story, I believe that everything we have been doing, thinking or how we um, perform in our environment and even in our makeup had been hinged upon sacrifice. So with that learning and with that experience, personally, I am feeling that I need to get a balance of how I can relate to the word sacrifice that can help me grow to become a better expression and version of being or the person I am and I'm hoping that's the same for you because we are connecting the dots. This is the depiction of Mother Eve even from the story of Moses, the I am that I am. So this is why we have that depiction of Mother Eve with the dots on the face if you can see this and it may not seem that it is the sort of um, face that we are used to but here we are doing things in a different way. If we want change if we want to see growth, the things that we have seen in one way, how about we turn them over and look at them from another face, another angle, which is why we have revelation as part of our template. With revelation, we are able to see things, on, uncover things, because we are so used to seeing things one way, one dimension. It's like I say, for instance, someone presents a beautiful meal, the same content of that meal can be presented in another way that would make you sick, really, and you'd want nothing to do with it. So we are now looking at this same story or the content of that story and trying to see how we can relate to it in a way that makes us feel good, that makes us, because good, of course, God saw everything that he'd done was good. Also, Eve, when she ate of the food, she saw it was good for food, for nutrients, for growth, for elevation. That's what food does for us. It helps us to become, to blossom, to beautify, to nurture ourselves, to strengthen ourselves, to um, see, to um, be healthy. And so that's what we are doing here, of course. And 
that's what we are endeavoring. So if you are new to this, this is our template that we are working from. I also urge that you check out my um, templates on the um, templates to actualize in self love or a very good one I would say it is a bit lengthy but it's condensed and concise in a sense that it's in depth as well um, template to actualize in self love or in synchronistic template that it has the word synchronistic attached to it in fact I'm going to pull it up so next time I can make um, the exact reference to it but it's a synchronistic template in that sense it was or intuitively done and hence how we got the word sacrifice we have been working with this where we thought it was just going to be one um, one presentation because it was Easter and there we are now still working with the word sacrifice. So if you're wondering what these three um, red circles are, it's really the word the that we have come across from the Bible which constitute um, it's, it's a numerical value of six because we are working with the number six. Okay so we have understood that the word truth, we have done truth equals number six. So I am now looking at um, certain words to really show how, um, of course, we see if the second word um, of, of the Bible was um, equal six and it's two. So we are seeing how there were two aspects of six or six and six um, would really reflect when God saw or Eve saw. Um, something was good. So there we see that, of course, good equals five. So Eve saw that the fruit was good, meaning everything, you can come from one to five, you can from not five to nine, because there we are told that five is end. Five is end and nine is beginning. So basically, it's as if we are in a playground here with consequences, mind you. But then this is where we are in Christ. Of course, when you are in Christ, you are a new creature. It says end, but it's the end of that cycle here. It's the end of that cycle that we are getting into. And we are going into this other cycle, which is a beginning of another cycle. So there we are with five and nine. And five and nine constitute the first word of the Bible, which is in, I-N. We see the I is here. I and N for on the new hair. So and now we are with six. But it is amazing what we have discovered with six and the word the. So I urge that you check out the um, last meaning that would be the number six template, five or six template. I'm not quite sure now. I'm just having fun. Okay, so we see how six has been in this column. So this is the the T, T, H, E. And it also showed that each letter came at a different value. Um, at a different position. This is at the third position, this is at the second position, and this is at the third position. But of course, that would be, T would be, and then we have H is at that level. And then, um, of course, because I have changed the numerical position or the position of these, it has appeared that way, but it's all in that section. Perhaps it would have been another way, but we are working with how we have been guided to do. So there we are. So it means that H is eight, eight, eight here. And that is where <laughs> it reminds me of the old dollar sign somehow. Okay. And, um, so this is where we have that I here because eight H is eight and it's the I here. When we do the numerical value for the word I, of course we have an I here. This is where Eve was in that position and was able to see. Her eye was open. 
this is where she was at the middle. Okay, so um, the next thing we want to explore is we have seen truth. I have done truth. And of course, the word said, because when God said, um, God said is in the scriptures. Let's, I'm just exploring words that has very profound uh, meaning for us here. This is one, and we see AS is just like the SA presented here. So this is nine. So nine and um, four is 13 and one 14 and one 15. So we see 15, one and five is six. So this is where we are saying, and God said, let there be light. Now this, and God said, and everything God did, he saw, meaning let's say divide or saw, um, if we want to see it in a motion, so the act of doing was also so. Everything in our understanding was that God said, said equals six. That means God saw six or cut six in half. So do we say it was three, three? We can say three, three, but it wasn't divided. So we have to say God's when it was so, it would be six and six, meaning it would entail, well, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was equal, but we can assume that for now because you can saw something, or perhaps we can take the analogy of um, scientists saying about the brain. You can cut, slice the brain at any part of it, and it still remains, the, it still constitutes the same, just as we are in particles, whatever it is that we are, um, that we we'll claim to be now. It's like, no matter what we um, amount of it, that you take, it still contains the whole. So everything contains the whole. So in that sense, the whole is six, when God said, equals six. So God saw, God saw, eventually he saw everything that he did or he had done, including said. So that would be six as well. So that would be two sixes. And we see how 12 comes into being. Of course, we can all further add 12, 1 and 2 together, and that would be free. That's that wiggly worm that I'm talking about. It's in everything. It is vibrations. We can't escape from it. It's that free. Hence, we have free, the second word of the Bible, as I have said, in that word, the which is three words, and we see it adds to six as well, which is the same, the same motion here, but this is of four letters. So God said, okay, so the amount of letters as well is something I like to play with as well, but so far we have so much to do with six. It's unbelievable. Now, before I uh, move on, Let's look at, um, there are two, um, talking about the whole, I just want to show how the whole is also um, that six that we have been talking about. So we, we have done the word blue, which equals 13, and we have done the word green, which equals 31. So we see when we add either of these together, the total four. Now, four. I am just trying to show how everything is interrelated here. So bear in mind, we have blue and green, each equals four. But that's the beauty about numerology. As I say, it's how something is presented to us. Of course, it's presented in a certain way. You tackle it in a certain way. So the word for, F-O-U-R, is nine, three, six, six. And then we have the two sixes as indicative of what happens 
in what I had just explained before, the two sixes. Okay, so there we are, six, six, six and six, twelve. And of course, oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. I've just said six and six, twelve, what happens? But then we also have twelve here. So there's twelve here. And there's twelve here. That is really wonderful. Even in four, even in the, that was not the intention, but I'm trying to really have three, one and two together, and one and two together equals three. So we see how the blue sky, the blue, whether it's it's part of the whole that um, gives that firmament or that oneness, that sense of boundary, or whether it's the earth or whether it's the four seasons or the four um, elements that um, created us or the four posts of your house, that four that constitute all the four presents or four for father or four for revelation, all those fours that we have or we are talking about, you know, our four limbs and, uh, and so on, but we see how um, six, three, and three here. We see how twelve had had come into being. Twelve, and then we add three and three here, which is six. So here we see how six and four is really one and the same, serving that purpose or sense of wholeness. So basically, we are, um, of course, so the, the days in this, in this um, sense does not really um, being um, created on the sixth day or the love or all those things were already in that fall. We see even in the word fall is the, it constitute the two sixes, two sixes or twelve. 12, 1 and 2 is 3. So we can see how 6 is in our makeup. In our, it's, it's there from that 4, of course, the 4 elements as I have mentioned. I think that's really delicious. <laughs> okay, now there's another um, discovery I made with um, the... Number five, of course, we have seen number five. We have done numerous um, exercises to show how five and six are really interrelated. Of course, they come under the same column here again. And just to draw your attention onto the exercise we just did, which um, comes under the four hair, perhaps it's offering us so. The exercise we did, we've just done with the word four. We see here we have that four points, our four points, our four corners, and where we um, go through those dimensions in developmental stage, the developmental stage, and this is where it gives us the three. I think this is lovely. This is really lovely. Of course, three fours are twelve. But I would not have seen that it would still work out in doing the numerical value for the word, the word for, because not all the words are really working out in that way. Of course, for, we would ordinarily think that it would equal four, but no. Okay, so there's the other word, five. And this is five, four, nine, six. So there we are. This is interesting too. Four and five, nine, nine, and nine, eighteen, and um, six is twenty-four. So we have the same twenty-four equals six. So we have the same numerical value for five. How can five and four have the same numerical value? Does that make sense? And then we have five and six um, on that new. We have seen it happen with five and six. Um, I'm just checking. Yes, we have seen certain exercises I have done to see how five and six are very interrelated. And there we see how 
um, of course, it's five and six. <laughs> Very interrelated. But we have done it in other ways and see how they have been interrelated. So there we see five and six is here. So, of course, but before we added um, the two threes to, to have shown the six. That was the difference here. Okay, but we had to. So, it's like showing the two points. There are two aspects to it. So, that was the difference here. Okay, and um, so six and five is really here. So, we have five here. We have six here. Okay. We are looking at the number six. When we know that all those things are interrelated, like, of course, scientists have told us, if it's all relative. Everything is related to everything. That would mean that it would be easier for us to now um, look at the scriptures in a different way of seeing that there were things written in that language that makes it confusing for people who are wired in the way I am, for instance, to make sense of the scriptures. Now in numerology, so far, I am able to make sense or see things in a different light, which makes sense to me. So for instance, the word wealth. <laughs> It's time we had something, <laughs> yeah, something, yes, <laughs> juicy. Mm -hmm. Two, three, one, five, five. Okay, so there we are. I hope you can see this. This is eight and two, ten and three, thirteen, fourteen and five, nineteen, and um, so this would be twenty-four. 24. We are doing with dealing with 24. 2 and 4 is 6. So when we are thinking wealth, for instance, we are wealth. This, this is what I like with uh, what numerology is offering me, a sense of knowing that everything is within me. Everything is in my makeup, that I do not necessarily need to be looking out outward for that which I am. So I am hoping that you can get the essence of what I am saying. Whether it is love, that is nine. Whether it was all the emotions, whether we like them or not, but they constitute, they are part of our makeup. This is what I am wanting to really share. This is my understanding. This is the truth. Truth equals six. And here we are talking about truth. And we are talking about people. The word people also comes to people and person. This is interesting. Let's just do these. This is on 23. Um, let's just do these. And um, of course, we have done our North, South, East and West. We are looking at the word number six. Okay, let's look at people. I keep shaving Eve's head each time I wipe the board. Okay, so people, P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. This is five three, seven, six, five, seven. Okay, so this is eight and seven. That's um, 15 and 15 and six, 21 and five, 26 and four, 26 and four, 26 and four, 26 and seven, <laughs> 26, because I'm already adding um, four from here, 26, and seven that's um 12 13 that's 33 so sometimes i am mentally counting that's the thing you may hear me counting like 26 and 4 because i'm already subtracting the four from the seven to know that there is three legs but i'm also thinking or being mindful that someone else is not really able to follow my mental arithmetic here oh okay so People is 33, 3 and 3 is 6. So this is what we are saying. We are 6, not just individually. Um, we are 6. We are 6. We are 33. Hence, um, 
Christ also was saying there is also the blessed are the poor. This is something that people have been misconstrued. Look at the word poor. This is nine, six, six. Watch in the middle here. The two O's are really telling us this is we are whole. We are and there are mirrors of us. That's our W. Oh no, but we have taken those words, seen them very negatively because they have been, um, people have, we have given meaning to words that have, I believe, have changed meaning just as we are witnessing those things are happening now. People are changing meanings that, um, okay, so this is 15 and 6 is um, 21 and 21 and 7 is 28. Oh, so it's 28. Okay, so, but that means, okay, that I'm not going to um, run away from this, which I am tempted to do. Okay, but um, we are looking at 10. We It's like saying, blessed are those that are pure there. This is the pure state of being, whether satan hell whatever it is but it's there is the state of good and bad in that there is that it's just ease okay but let's look at um believe we have done this believe equals 33 i have done this let's look at the beehive 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 this is this is the sweetness that the children of israel was going to the promised land to get five, four, nine, eight, five, two. Okay, so there we are. Um, nine and nine, eighteen and eight, um, twenty-six, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-six, and five is um, thirty-one and two, thirty-three. Okay, so believe this is why again nothing can come into your consciousness unless you find something like itself on which to attach itself to that's why the word believe is very very much a part of who we are so we can use that too and connect with it on any dimension that we want hence it is part of our makeup that is part of who we are believe B, and of course, Eve is in the middle of that word too, of course. B, leave, L-I-E-V-E. -E. This, this is like telling us, okay? All right. It's like telling us, you know, um, to how to really um, conduct ours or our makeup and to conduct ourselves according to our makeup. So we see we are Eve, and there we saw the word a lie, which equals eight. And of course, this is what Eve was about, Eve et, of course. And they said it was a lie. It was true because it's that position. But we had not, or um, someone told a lie, but there's the lie. It's that position. It's a posture. And it's saying to be, this is seven. We, of course, believe. <laughs> okay, I like the bow on her head here, right here. It's like there's, uh, you know, uh, something has just, um, where the bulb has just shown, you know, lovely. Okay, so we have, um, there's lots of words. We had finger, which is five, but fingers, because God created the world with his fingers, we are told. So there we have this um, six. And abundantly is 33, two. Um, the, uh, um, 33, three and three is six. And we have air. This is the thing. Always ye who have air to air. Now that's the word. That is the key word for me. Because E A R is nine one five so and i like these numbers i notice on the tv there is something i think we um i went to someone's house and i thought what is this for one five nine on um it's to do with virgin network but anyway one five nine but i like this number and um it's come in this order which is five one nine of course we know what five this is beginning 
an end or beginning rather an end but then we have the three strokes in the middle which is showing the importance of that but e u f a when we do this 10 and 9 and 1 10 10 and 5 15 15 equals 6 we are talking about the number 6 here is what we can do with the number 6 in other heart we can put h before it and we can put t this is the heart this is what we have in the middle of our heart right here and of course there is an a here that three that three is that that wave in fact the word wave i think is six let's see wave wave this is five four one five okay five and four nine and one ten and five is 15 so we see wave so there's the wave the double wave um that that really constitutes you could say believe you could say abundantly those words where christ said i have come to give you life and you may have it more abundantly or joy which is more abundantly so there's the wave that is that double three just going around and really um making its presence felt yes and that's how we are here okay so we have lots of words that um we could really um play about when it comes to number six we are exploring number six i also want to explore um the um the letters or the words of the some of the zodiac signs that constitute the six letters like i did with um the five the number five i felt it was good because five and six are so interrelated how about we explore that on another of course presentation i hope you will join me and thank you for watching thank you for taking your time to watch this and i hope you like it so if you like this presentation click the like button and share because this is how we do it we share to actualizing self love stay blessed stay bright be a field because we are planting new seeds. Stay ignited. Namaste. And spill over with love.